Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see a program regarding electronic shop which came in uh, ICIC board exam 2009. Now this is a question. First we will discuss uh, the question and understand it and then we will try to solve it using uh, Java program. An electronic shop has announced the following seasonal discounts on the purchase of certain items. So here you got two items laptop and desktop and you got the table which has some criteria so left hand side you can see the purchase amount okay so these are the purchase amount ranges and for which you have discount amount percentage for laptop separately and for desktop separately so you have to find out uh, these condition statements for laptop separately and desktop separately Moreover, you have to accept a type of uh, purchase that is L for laptop and D for desktop. According to that, you have to uh, check uh, laptop separately and then de desktop separately according to the choice. Here you got two methods. One is you can use if statement and check whether the character accepted character is L or D and then uh, carry on with the inner if statements or you can use switch statement and then you can go and uh, if the case is true then you have to you you can use if statements inside the case so i have decided to uh, show you an example of switch and if statement together in a single program okay so we will see what are the things you have to uh, get it as an input write a program uh, based on the above criteria to input name address amount of purchase and the type of purchase so these are the input units so you need a name you need the address of the customer and then the amount of purchase and the type of purchase so you have to display whether it is l or d so l for laptop and d for desktop in the menu according to the customer choice you have to calculate uh, the uh, discount amount for laptop or desktop separately now what you have to print is you have to print the net amount to be paid by the customer along with this name and address so here you can uh, see that you got uh, the formula for finding the discount rate so discount rate into uh, that is divided by 100 into amount of purchase that will be the discount and net amount has been calculated by amount of purchase minus discount so this is what you are going to do in the program so you will go to the program here I have uh, given electronic shop as a class name and then I have got the declaration statements here. So what are the declaration statements you used is uh, uh, string name and address to get the name and address of the customer respectively and then you have to, uh, you have to store the amount which will be, uh, which will be stored in the uh, variable amount and then you got to uh, find the discount and that will be stored in discount variable and the net amount which you are going to calculate that will be stored in net amount so you have to initialize the discount and net amount the, because you are going to calculate it and then you are going to store it into this variable so you have to initialize the remaining variables you no need to initialize because you are going to get it through the input statement and then one more character variable to store the character to be displayed in the menu ok now you are going to enter the name so and then the name is being accepted in the variable name so you are using a string variable uh, so you are using ne next statement for input and next you are going to have address so here you are going to again use next so you have to be very careful when you type the address it can be an alphanumeric uh, statement or the or sentence but you see that don't use space in between if you use space you cannot use next statement because next statement will accept only the uh, characters which ends with space after space if you have any other word that will not be accepted it will be a, it will be a separate token ok so you see that you don't give a space if you are giving space in between address then you have to use next line but we have some uh, problem using next line because you cannot able to enter anything here it will execute the next statement continuously we will see it in the another video now you are going to have uh, amount of purchase as an input which is of double data type so you are using next double and then the type of purchase 
so you have to display l for laptop and d for uh, desktop that is a menu so you are accepting uh, using the input statement for getting a character and that is stored in type now we are going to see the switch statement because i told you that i have selected switch and then if statement inside so here uh, you switch and the control variable is type if the type is having the character l so what happens this case will become true okay that means it is laptop so you have to find the uh, calculations based on the laptop column so laptop column we can see if the amount is less than or equal to 25000 then the discount rate is zero if it is greater in between uh, 25001 and 57000 then it is 5 percentage then the next criteria it is 7.5 percentage and then finally it will be 10 percentage and then you have to use break to close it okay then suppose if it is not equal to l if it is equal to d you have a separate column for desktop computers the range is same but the percentage is uh, different say here, here uh, for uh, less than uh, less than or equal to 25000 it is 5 percentage the next is 7.5 percentage and next is 10 uh, point 10 uh, percentage and then finally you have 15 percentage for uh, desktop computer then you have to use a default statement uh, to display uh, if it is not equal to l or d by with a message wrong choice after which you are going to find out the net amount by subtracting the amount with the discount so amount minus discount will be the net amount then finally you are going to display all these so you are going to display the customer name customer address discount amount and the net amount on the screen so you are going to compile this program okay no syntax errors close so right click click on void main click okay now you are going to enter the name so i have used caps lock because uh, you are going to use l and d as capital letters if you use small l and d then there will be a problem uh, it will go to wrong choice because you are given only capital l and capital d now the address i am just typing alpha numeric characters separated by comma if you do, don't use comma if you use space as i told you it will not take the next token it will take only the first token since you are use next now the amount i will just type say 85000 okay and uh, i am going to purchase laptop so you can see when i press enter you can see the customer name address and the discount amount for that laptop for the amount 85000 and then finally how much you have to pay to the Shop. Okay, so we'll see one more uh, execution for desktop computers. Okay, same uh, address will be. Okay, so here what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to give the amount as one lakh fifty thousand. and then the option uh, type of purchase is desktop now you can see uh, the discount amount, discount amount is 2 uh, 2 lakhs uh, sorry 22500 and the net amount is 1 lakh 27500 to be paid to the shop so hope you understood this video so you can uh, use uh, switch case and inside switch case you can use if statement like this okay so if you use if statement what you can do is instead of uh, switch you can just type if uh, type equal to equal to uh, l then uh, you can uh, process with this which will be inside this bracket else you can uh, go on with the next set of if statement so that will be used when you are using if statement i think switch statement will be more simpler than if statement there won't be any confusion okay so hope you understood uh, what we have seen today uh, we will see in the next video thank you